Thanks for joining this presentation about Qantas Extraction Solution and the new capability that we just brought to, to the market. My name is uh, Hitendra Divecha. I am uh, product marketing at, uh, at Cadence for Qantas Extraction uh, Solution product line. <clears throat> so let me give you a quick snapshot of, uh, of Qantas. So Qantas obviously is the most trusted you know, we believe the golden sign-off extraction tool in the market today with over 650 customers who are using or who have adopted Qantas today in production, uh, whether it's for transistor level flow or digital level flow. Um, we have uh, top 18 of top 20 semiconductor companies uh, worldwide who have trusted Qantas for uh, their extraction needs, whether that could be on the digital side or on the transition side of the market. Um, from a market segment share standpoint, we are clearly the market leader in this space uh, with about 51% market share uh, worldwide. And we are clearly number one in terms of uh, the um, functionality that we provide to our customers for custom and analog designs. Uh, Qantas is essentially one tool uh, that uses one certified foundry tech file uh, that supports both uh, transistor level as well as uh, uh, digital level extraction. Um, in terms of foundry certification and qualification at TSMC specifically, uh, we are fully certified down to uh, two nanometer designs today. Um, and uh, also for various flavors of 3D IC designs that are uh, brought up as, a, as kind of a new technology from, uh, from TSMC. So not only at TSMC, but we are also fully certified at, uh, at uh, other leading foundries. So that includes the likes of Samsung as well as Intel Foundry. So with Samsung, we are fully certified uh, down to two nanometers, as well as for Intel, uh, we are fully certified until their uh, latest uh, 16A uh, process technology node. So this is what I am excited about uh, to bring you uh, an update on, right? And this is essentially our DSPF interactive output uh, and this is what we call IDSPF. So today, if you look at from uh, extraction standpoint, uh, any extraction tool, you know, there are various file formats that are supported as an output of an extraction tool. Uh, if you look at Qantas specifically or Cadence, uh, we have extracted view, we have smart view, and then of course we have SPF and DSPF. Uh, for all other extraction tools, you know, the primary file, foot for, uh, file output format would be DSPF based. And so the technology innovation here that we have done is essentially bring all this visualization and interactive capabilities that we have uh, here at Cadence, right, and specifically in Extracted View, we are bringing all those visualization capabilities uh, into DSPF file format. <clears throat> so the new file format, essentially, uh, moving forward, if you go into Qantas, um, in the output form, you will see IDSPF. And when you click IDSPF, essentially what we will do is we will generate two different files. So one file is DSPF ASCII, right? This is the file that you would use for simulation purposes or for EMIR. And then the other one actually is going to be the viewer. And then the viewer is essentially what will allow you to do all this interactive debugging uh, to essentially make sure that you know, your, your design closure turnaround time, right? Or your debugging turnaround time is as short as possible, right? So that you can meet your uh, final spec for, for day about. It's a completely brand new architecture uh, that supports obviously the high capacity designs where we have seen customers use DSPF based output uh, a lot, right, for especially for advanced nodes. Um, it's uh, fully supported in Virtuoso Studio ADE, uh, as well as Virtuoso Hierarchical Editor uh, in, in ADA. 
there is no net listing required of parasitics. Uh, DSPF is directly included. And there is no additional setup or license requirements over the current DSPF output, okay? So this is what exciting, right, from, from our standpoint is now we are bringing this interactive stuff, right, into the DSPF file format and really empower designers to do, debug their designs much, much quicker. And what are these functionalities, right? So <clears throat> here are some of the capabilities, right, that you'll be able to do now with your ASCII DSPF. As you know, ASCII DSPF, right, it's, it's, it's basically an ASCII file, right, that can be very long, especially the advanced nodes. Uh, and to debug that, right, can be tedious and time consuming. Uh, so the capabilities that we have for interactivity is, you know, obviously you can do out of context probing. So this is directly into virtuoso schematic. Uh, you can do in context probing uh, in waveform. So this is for simulation results directly into the layout. You can visualize the parasitics, right? You can do parasitic reporting. Uh, back annotation, you can do comparison reports, right? And you can actually see the overlay of parasitics directly into schematic, right? And so this is where we empower you as a designer. So you don't have to look at your ASCII files, right? Try to figure out where the problem is. You know, you can interactively see your problematic areas so that, you know, you can go directly into it, address it, so right here you can meet your your final spec, okay? <clears throat> so the key functionality obviously is the enhanced debugging, uh, interactive debugging, uh, as I mentioned in my previous slide, uh, that will allow you to, you know, not only go directly into schematic or layout, uh, but you'll be able to get all this real-time feedback, right, on your, on your parasitics and if there are any problematic areas that you know you can horn in, right, and uh, and then go uh, address that. Um, as I showed you, right, on the various you know uh, the pictures, um, it presents you know uh, the visualization basically, uh, which will clearly you know help you identify the problematic areas right within you know short period of time, and it's. Uh, it's just effortless, uh, effortless navigation, and this is partially due to, uh, and primarily actually due to the fact that you know we are directly integrated inside Virtuoso Studio. So, if you're doing some things in schematic, or if you're doing something on the layout side, that you'll be able to do this right directly into it. Um, <clears throat> so, the benefits obviously of IDSPF is faster turnaround time. Uh, efficient design closure, right, and improve your productivity, right, because you don't have to deal with the ASCII file and debugging an ASCII file now, right, you know, you can basically look at, visualize things, identify the problematic area, right, and then just go address that directly, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, basically, if you, if you look at, right, in terms of productivity, debug effort, and design closure, you know, as you can see, DSPF is right there on the bottom left, right? You know, the productivity is less, uh, design closure turnaround time is the slowest, right? While it requires highest debugging effort time. So now with the introduction of IDSPF, we are significantly improving on all those three attributes, right? We are improving your productivity. You know, we are improving your design closure turnaround time as well as, you know, your debugging effort, right, is much, much shorter uh, than what it would be, right, if you're just dealing with, uh, with an ASCII file. Um, <clears throat> so simulation in Virtuoso with uh, ADE, of course, and Spectre. So, you know, the hierarchical editor in Virtuoso Studio obviously supports uh, IDSPF natively, uh, and it recognizes it. Uh, ADE will be able to auto-include IDSPF output uh, during any test-based generation that you have. And if you have any black boxes, right, in your designs, which, you know, you, you would have, uh, these are automatically detected and also included, right? So just like extracted view, uh, IDSPF, right, is fully supported inside uh, ADE and uh, Inspector for, for simulation. Um, 
you can also take advantage of doing resistance analysis. And this is specifically P2P analysis, right? And so this P2P is between uh, two points, for example, uh, you can do from terminal to terminal. And also you can do actually terminal to terminal probing uh, inside schematic, right? And all this actually is done in a visualized manner, right? as you can see from the slide here, that you'll be able to go in and select, you know, two different points, for example, and be able to calculate, you know, your resistance. And this is actually using, you know, your sign up engine, right? So, um, you know, fully support, you know, all this resistance analysis, right, in, uh, in IDSPF as well. Now, you know, as I mentioned, you know, that it takes it, you know, once you click the IDSPF as an option, you know, we will generate, you know, two different files, right? You know, one file um, is, is, is basically the DSPF ASCII file, as I mentioned, that you can use for simulation and uh, EMIR purposes. The other file format, right, is for visualization. So now the question natural would be, you know, is there any impact, right, in terms of, you know, size of hard disks or memory or even performance since you're generating two different files, right? And the answer is no not significant impact, right, to any one of those metrics. And here are basically some of the, the data that we have collected on the advanced nodes design. So if you look at, let's say, design test case number one, which is N7 uh, design, uh, the DSPF size itself was about 18 gigabytes. Uh, you know, the DSPF runtime, just purely DSPF runtime was about 210 minutes. <clears throat> Uh, and then the IDSPF output, you know, it's roughly the same time, right? So you're not compromising or increasing the turnaround time, right, in order to generate the IDSPF. Uh, as well as if you look at from a peak memory standpoint, you know, the memory essentially is the same, okay? Um, you know, if you look at, you know, another design, um, let's say you have, um, you know, uh, 1.4 gigabytes, that's design number nine, which is at N16. Um, you know, the DSPF, you know, runtime was 16 minutes and uh, IDSPF is 18 minutes, right? So, you know, two minutes more, right? So nothing significant uh, that will uh, prevent you uh, from uh, thinking twice, right, about IDSPF because of the performance requirements, right? And if you look at the memory, right, is essentially, you know, no impact whatsoever, right, in terms of memory uh, usage, okay? <coughs> Um, we also support, I think, you know, if you're using a Quant Quantus tool already, uh, you're probably already aware that, you know, we support uh, uh, multi-corner uh, uh, DSPF. So this is basically, you know, instead of doing, you know, one corner extraction at a time, you know, you can do actually multiple corners uh, uh, simultaneously. And uh, the way we would do it is, you know, as you can see from the, from the map here on the right hand side, uh, it's basically we write out an equation. So it says, you know, C1 times the value plus C2 plus the value times the value and C3 times the value. And so these are essentially all your parasitics information, right? And specifically here in this case is the capacity uh, capacitance information uh, for three different corners. So C1, C2, C3, right? So, you know, if you're signing off, right, with, uh, you know, two or three different corners, you know, you don't need to do, you know, one corner at a time, right? You know, you can essentially do all these three different corners, right, at, in, in one shot, right? And that kind of functionality actually will continue also in IDSPF as an output. We'll be able to support, you know, multi-corner DSPF. Again, this is, you know, all about, you know, making sure that, you know, your, your design closure, your debugging time, first of all, right, is smaller, right, and your overall sign of closure turnaround time, right, it's uh, it's smaller. So, to summarize, uh, IDSPF, we believe this is this is truly the paradigm shift in the circuit, you know, design debugging. Uh, for advanced nodes, we have seen a lot of customers just because of the capacity and number of parasitics that are increasing in their designs. Uh, tend to use DSPF as an ASCII file, right, um, to uh, to do debugging. But as we just explained, you know, being an ASCII file, it's it's like finding a needle in a haystack, right, and that's time-consuming and can take longer time to debug your design. So 
IDSPF, obviously with the new comprehensive, you know, brand new architecture, we can handle the capacity and give you, you know, both the ASCII file, right, for simulation EMIR purposes, but also give you the visualization part so you can effectively and uh, efficiently debug your design uh, so that, you know, you are closer to meeting your, uh, your final spec, right? Of course, with all these interactive capabilities we have, and we believe that this is clearly, um, you know, kind of a, you know, changing, you know, the way uh, our customers, you know, you customers, right, designers are actually doing debugging of their designs for post layout simulation flow, okay? Um, and uh, so thank you very much for, uh, for attending uh, and, uh, and looking at this presentation and, 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 uh, and then understanding it. Uh, if you have any questions, please do reach out to us, uh, to your AE uh, or your salesperson. And if you're interested, uh, this is already available in Qantas uh, 23.11 uh, version, which was just released actually you know, uh, in February, uh, end of February. So this is already in production. So if you, you know, if you're interested, you know, like I said, if you have any questions, if you're interested, please reach out to your sales folks, and uh, you know they'll, uh, they'll they'll keep us uh, in the loop, and you know we can come and help you out further if needed. Okay, all right, thank you guys.